Hello, everybody. Welcome to the American Advertising Awards Seattle 2023 edition. My name is Luis Santizana. I am the president of AAF Seattle, and I'm so glad you're joining us today. This is a live broadcast. So we're, uh, you know, just just uh, hanging it out there and seeing what happens. Um, we are broadcasting you today from YouTube Live and on LinkedIn Live. And uh, it's just me on the show. So let's get right into it. Oh, let me put my name up here. It's just me. I'm the only producer. I'm I'm doing the whole thing. So uh, bear with me if we have any technical difficulties. Should be fun. We've got some videos. We got a lot of winners. And uh, you know, let's 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 get going. Um, this is our fourth virtual Addies, if you can believe it. COVID took us out right before uh, our 2020 show, and I mean, literally like a week before, and then uh, it's it ended right after our 2022 show. So what's up with 2023? Well, uh, we have a really small staff and uh, our vendor resources uh, are, are the, the invoices that came back for the estimates for doing our gala were astronomical. And unless you wanted to pay $200 a ticket or more, uh, it was not going to happen this year uh, with, with all the different things that were going on and trying to make this happen you uh i think i think we have the best solution here next year though let's get this thing going uh let's get a real gala let's to get get together because there are two things that we try to serve uh with the addies one is of course honoring the great creative work that we have uh produced in this city uh with this industry and this, the wonderful creatives we have and, and the teams and everybody that supports that those efforts but then we also hold the addies so that we can get together and see each other and Yes, we will have a virtual after party. And yes, it does give you a little bit of a taste of that. And I'll go into that later. But there's nothing like getting together in person, drinking. Did I say drinking? Uh, and celebrating the awards. There's my priorities. Uh, but uh, let's make this happen next year. We need your help to do that. I'll talk about volunteer opportunities later as well. So uh, let me just share a little bit about AAF. We are. Uh, known as the unifying voice in advertising. Basically, we serve as a club in town to be a hub for all the creative people, for the ad agencies, for the vendors, uh, a central resource that lives throughout the years. We've been around since 1909, if you can believe that, which tells me we have an anniversary to celebrate uh, pretty soon. That's pretty significant, 125 years next year. Holy cow. Yeah, we're going to have to do something big for that uh unifying voice in advertising that means that we not just host award shows and host um events and panels and things where you can learn about the industry or share the things you've done or learn about how to what makes for award-winning work which is a lot of the stuff we've done in the past couple of years including uh panels on the what's the state of the workforce it's a really great way to stay in touch we're also a, a, an organization that advocates for the creative industry at a governmental level. So whenever there's you hear about a potential advertising tax on businesses um, that they can't they can no longer write off advertising, we're the ones arguing to uh, preserve that business write off. So people are more willing to spend money on advertising. And that is at the state level. That's at the at the national level. There's also privacy efforts. I think there's a lot to be done in this area. And the AAF kind of takes an interesting position. Uh, it might seem a bit conservative, but what they're really working towards is a national platform versus disparate state solutions that makes it difficult for advertising agencies and media planners to work their magic and opt-ins and opt-outs and all that stuff. It's pretty complicated. I won't get into it, but I just spent a couple days in Washington, D.C. last week meeting with our state senator's offices, not the senators, uh, and uh, opening lines of communication. And so we're going to have a really good working relationship with Washington legislators. That's the kind of stuff that we do. But we also do fun awards shows. So let's get to the program. Um, oh, first, also here, uh, I have a little slideshow here there let's talk about our judges real quick i'll go into bios on each one of them as their reel comes up for judges choice 
We also have Mosaic Award, by the way, and we're also awarding a Best in Show. Uh, but for judges, uh, Nicole McDonough, Kelly Bernard, and Ryan Coleman were our judges this year. And I want to spend a, start out the show thanking them very much for their efforts. I judge the Addies in different districts, in different cities around the country over the past several years. This year I did District 12. And I have to say that as a judge, I've never met another judge that didn't take this responsibility very, very seriously. And it's a great camaraderie we have going, doing these things, but it, it is, it is a, it's a real job. And Seattle maybe had 240 entries ish. Um, sometimes I've done 900, sometimes I've done 175, but, uh, Either way, you spend a lot of time with this work and you really deliberate and really, really deliberate internally uh, about who, how, how to rate this and how to award things. And, and it, is, it is such a precious experience and, and we are so palpably aware of the effort that goes into this work, trying to find the distinctive qualities that make it worth an award or might put it just a little bit higher on the points. The advertise, the American Advertising Awards aren't exactly a competitive award system. There can be multiple silvers, there can be multiple golds in a category, but there it has to be some, you know, there's a, a range of points and it all kind of evens out and, 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 and somebody wins awards and somebody doesn't. I know that there are agencies that submitted and uh, maybe not have, you know, you you might expect to win everything because all your work's great. You would not believe the razor thin margin sometimes between a silver and a gold and a silver and nothing. Uh, it's literally sometimes it's a tenth of a point. There's so much good work in this city. And just because you didn't win an award this time doesn't mean it wasn't fantastic and wouldn't have blown away other stuff in other districts. So that's kind of what happens when you're in a, in a town like Seattle with amazing ideas and and teams that that can build things out and people that take chances so i really oh yeah you know what i'm noticing we got a couple of comments here um we appreciate you hey thank you cole I, uh anybody who wants to throw comments in the chat i'm going to pop them on screen as long as they're family friendly thanks for keeping it going Luis. hey thanks aaron aaron's awesome uh former best in show winner appreciate that so uh Let's get on with the show. We're going to start with a reel of winners. And I think there's silvers and golds in this. And then we'll move on to just silvers. But let's start out with some fun stuff. See what happens here. Hope this works. If you're in an agency, if you won work, you throw some cheers in the chat. We'll put it on screen. All right, I'm going to get out of the way. I hope that's loud enough. Let me know if it is Fund Yourself, done by PB Ann for Seattle Bank, takes the gold Addy in film, video, and sound, television advertising, regional, national campaign. This is software developer Brian. Hi, I'm Brian. He just got a new P-Lock from Seattle Bank, the most personal line of credit around. He used the money to fund this Flemish giant bunny breeding facility because big bunnies are his side biz. This is a blue ribbon bun bun. He likes to call it Brian's Flemish Giant Breeding Facility for Furry Companions and Domesticated Bunny Buddies Line of Credit, or Bifka Bif of Canva Block for short. Fund yourself with the most personal, low-interest line of credit from Seattle Bank today. This is big-time accountant Jim. King of the road. He just got a new P-Lock from Seattle Bank, the most personal line of credit around. He used the money to fund a tricked-out RV for him and his family to enjoy. Oh. Fam Damley. He likes to call it Jim's new recreational vehicle for ultimate family vacationing and leisure times line of credit. Or Jinner Vafafvault Lock for short. We're working remote! Fund yourself with the most personal low interest line of credit from Seattle Bank today. Hijinx Agencies, Microsoft OBD for Microsoft wins three gold addies in online interactive social media campaign, film, video, and sound, internet commercial campaign, and elements of advertising, animation, special effects, or motion graphics. And silver addy in online film, video, and sound, internet commercial single. I was 12 
12 years old when my life changed. A fall, an accident, a crash. But my journey wasn't over, only altered. All it took was time to shift my perspective, to resume my ride. Time to be unafraid, creative, original. It's time to carve your own path. It's time to become who you are. Minted Independent Artist Day, done by All Is Well Studios for Minted, takes the gold Addy in elements of advertising, video editing, and the silver Addy in branded content and entertainment campaign. What is it about competition that drives us forward? Is it the rush, the push, the pull? The force that compels us to be better. It's about bolder strokes, sharper lines, stronger colors. It quiets the noise, sharpens focus, and brings out the best. Thousands of artists worldwide enter Minted's design competitions. You choose the winners, you support the artists, so that you can have designs and art you love. Because the designs you buy, the art you hang, and the gifts you share should only be the best. The live stream by VMLY and R for Mazda takes home one gold Addy in the category of online interactive social media single and two silver Addies in both categories online film, video and sound, internet commercial, single spot, and single webisode. In the category of film, video and sound, television advertising, regional, national campaign, Little Hands of Stone takes home the silver eddy for Amazon TNF crew for Amazon. Four Seven is awarded the Silver Addy in the category of Out of Home and Ambient Media Multiple Installations for their AT&T Turn Up the Love 2022, created for AT&T. A Silver Addy is awarded to We Communications for Bittrex Trade Beyond the Trend for Bittrex Crypto Exchange in the category of Elements of Advertising, Animation, Special Effects or Motion Graphics.
a silver Addy for Taco Time, official sponsor of PNW from Taco Time Northwest, is awarded to world famous in the category of film, video and sound, television advertising, local campaign. Okay, that was pretty sweet. Now I want to say something about our voiceover talent. We have two people doing voiceover. The first one today is Lynn McManus. You just heard her voice in that last reel. Fantastic work. Thank you, Lynn. And I want to say that everybody who uh, worked with us did it out of their own goodwill. They didn't get anything for this other than just knowing that it's something that we desperately needed and they stepped up and donated their time and their talents and we really appreciate it. So Lynn um, provided us with a, a, a cute little bio or a cute little blurb that I'm going to read. I'm reading everybody's bios and blurbs, whatever they gave us, you're going to hear it. Lynn McManus, a Sound Choice Inc. Grew up and still lives on Puget Sound, makes a living recording sound. And if you hire her, you've made, wait for it, a sound choice. Broadcast quality home studio provided. Lynn's awesome. So we'll hear more of her later in the show. The next thing we're gonna get to is, I think this is a reel of all silver stuff. If not, it's all good. Um, whatever, it's just a, a, another reel of great stuff. And, oh, yeah. Uh, oh, no, no, okay. That's the next reel. All right, let's do this. Buy Smarter, Dream Bigger by Amazon Business for Amazon Business. Takes home four silver addies for the following four categories. Online Interactive Advertising and Promotion. Film, Video and Sound, Television Advertising, Regional National Campaign. Cross-Platform Integrated Campaigns, Regional National Campaign. And Cross-Platform Online Interactive Campaign. The Silver Addy goes to Rudy Corp for their Coachella Cuts in the category of Online Interactive Social Media Campaign with work done for the Coachella Music Festival. OK Bro takes home the Silver Addy for their Druthers Coffee and Waffles logo. Created for Druthers in the category of Elements of Advertising logo design. Food Court Creative brings home the Silver Addy for La Planta in Elements of Advertising Art Direction Campaign for Bravest Brewing. <laughs> RV Share, Use Your Outside Voice, done by Copacino Fujikato for RV Share takes the Silver Addy in Film, Video and Sound television advertising campaign. The Silver Addy goes to Little Hands of Stone for their TNF crew, Michelle is Not Well. Created for Amazon in the category of Film, Video and Sound, Television Advertising, Regional National Single Spot. X 
USAA, Figuring It Out by Hijinx Agency for Microsoft, takes home two silver addies for the category's online film, video and sound, internet commercial campaign, and cross-platform integrated advertising campaigns, consumer campaign. Sweet. Good stuff. Uh, let me tell you about the after party that we're having after the show. It is a virtual after party. It's not a Zoom. It's like little Zoom heads on a map, bird's eye view, and on, on a, like a room layout. And there's a bar in the back, and there's couches, and there's a little dance floor. And there'll be music once I turn on the playlist. That's a, something I forgot to do. Um, but you show up as your little bubble head and you see your face on camera, but you can walk around the room and you have spatial audio. So when you get close to somebody, you can hear what they're saying. And as you walk away from them, you can't. So it's kind of like real life and you can go in a corner and talk with your friends or you can join a group, uh, much more, uh, socially interactive and, and spontaneous like real life parties at real life bars you can even pour yourself a little virtual drink from the drink tray on the table i encourage everyone to join us after the show there's one extra reason to be there that i'll reveal towards the end of the show why you want to be there but in case you cut out early kubospace.com aaf seattle if you go early nobody's going to be in there but uh, we'll all be there after the show so we'll see you in there um, next up we have another bunch of amazing creative work uh, but at the end of this is a Judge's Choice Award from Nicole McDonough. So, you know what? I was going to read this. I'm going to read this now. This is a bio. This is Nicole's bio so that you know about her in advance when you see her talking. You're going to know her background. And like I said, I'm reading the full bio. So, we'll make this quick, but it's a little long. Uh, Nicole Michaels McDonough was most recently group creative director partner and a member of the leadership team at Butler, Shine, Stern and Partners. The latest step in an agency and freelance career that stretched from Seattle to Seoul with stops in San Francisco, Los Angeles and New York along the way. Prior to BSSP, she was at GCD at Wonderman Thompson, Seattle, formerly possible, and held senior creative roles at Kirschenbaum, Bond and Partners and Colin Weber. She started a journey at FCB Seattle where she was a horrible executive assistant, but luckily a decent copywriter. Can you tell? Uh, fast forward to her work being recognized by Khan, The One Show, Effie's, DNAD, Communication Arts, Clio's, Addie's, yes, Archive, and Fast Company's World Changing Ideas. Nicole has appeared on Adweek's Creative 100 list, recognizing top creative talent and her work for Tommy Hilfiger Adaptive, the first fashion lines designed with and for people with disabilities, was acknowledged with multiple con lines and the coveted titanium shortlist. Throughout a 20-year career, her most mind-blowing creations remain her teen sons, collectively known as Beast Mode. All right, so let's get on with the reel, and we're going to hear from Nicole at the end with her Judge's Choice Award. A gold addy goes to Wonderman Thompson, Seattle for the International Committee of the Red Cross for their hashtag Life in the Dark in the category of Public Service Online Interactive Campaign. For over 150 years, the International Red Cross has protected people in war zones around the world. Presently, their focus is on the war-torn Gaza Strip. At any given time, one in three people in Gaza are without power. To raise awareness, we challenge TikTok's top creators to do what they do best in the dark. I can't begin to guess what went wrong here. Um. We partnered with a diverse set of influencers from all parts of TikTok to show how all aspects of life become extremely difficult in the dark. Hashtag life in the dark finally put a spotlight on a humanitarian crisis that has been out of sight, out of mind for far too long. People everywhere went dark to do good. Smartsheet, sponsor X by Smartsheet for Smartsheet. 
takes home five gold addies for the following five categories. Online interactive social media campaign. Cross-platform integrated campaigns, regional national campaign. Elements of advertising, cinematography. An online film, video and sound, internet commercial, single spot and campaign. We had a sponsor ask a simple question, what can a logo on a car actually accomplish? Our sponsor Smartsheet believes in empowering work that matters. So they replaced their logos on the McLaren F1 cars with a non-profit. We had the opportunity to engage young people in a way where they feel a sense of confidence to pursue their dreams and reveal their genius, as we say. When the kids see the car, they're going to know that this, it represents them. This is Sponsor X. In the category of online film, video and sound, branded content and entertainment, Curator Pictures brings home the gold addy for Transcenders for Nike skateboarding in association with the nonprofit organization Skate Like a Girl. Skateboarding is an incredible thing to experience as an individual. But ultimately, it's best shared with your community. I feel like Alexa was like a legend in my mind. People were like, there's a new girl skater in town. That is gonna like push me to do that I'm always like scared of. I want to pass down what I know to the next generation of queer and trans skateboarders. And I'm so excited to see the flavor that it adds to skateboarding down the line. Microsoft, powering a better game, done by Hijinx Agency for Microsoft, takes the silver Addy in both elements of advertising cinematography and elements of advertising sound design campaign. next trip, we want to hit you right about here. Copacino Fujikado's Primera Blue Cross Mental Health for Primera Blue Cross wins two Silver Addies in Corporate Social Responsibility Film, Video and Sound and Corporate Social Responsibility Campaign. Meet the goon, hockey's quintessential tough guy. His main purpose, to intimidate the opposition with pure physicality. In the world of hockey, either you're tough or you don't play. And when it comes to mental health, just talking about it is a show of weakness. Except that it isn't. Because the fact is, one in five Americans deal with mental health conditions every year. And that includes athletes from hockey and every other major sport. A Silver Addy for the TNF crew Chile from Amazon is awarded to Little Hands of Stone in the category of film, video and sound, television advertising, single spot. Playing Thursday night football. Let's go! <laughs> Sorry, I didn't catch that. Alexa, play the last touchdown. Here you go. Are these ghost peppers? No, they're bell peppers. It's delicious, Michelle. Thank you. Thursday night! The judge's choice ad goes to Copacino Fujikato for Giza, a healthier approach to money for Giza Credit Union. Paul Michelle's McDonough, Group Creative Director. My judge's choice could have easily been the smart sheet work, the PBR motel, or that awesome Kit Kat digital activation. But it wasn't. It was a bus wrap for Giza Credit Union. Now I know the words bus wrap and judge's choice don't usually go in the same sentence, 
but I chose it because to me, it really exemplifies the power of our industry, which is helping people see things in ways they have never seen them before. How many times have you looked at a bus? A thousand, a hundred thousand times? Well, here's what the creative team on Giza did. They looked at that same bus and they said, what if we use the number that's already on the bus in the headline? It was so simple. It was so original. And you know what? That bus wrap brief doesn't usually go to the CD or the ACD. It goes to the junior team. So here's the junior teams. We see you keep doing what you're doing, which is helping all of us see things in ways we never thought we would. Have a great night, everyone. Congratulations. Wow. I loved hearing that from her about the junior team and, and really getting to the core of the, a creative piece and what, what advertising is all about. There was one time we awarded a piece that was shot on an iPhone by a freelancer, the judge, the best of show in, in Minneapolis, uh, Minnesota ad, ad fed awards, because it was just so pure and so good. Great ideas come from anywhere. That used to be a, a slogan from the Addies. For 10 years ago, but it is one of those things that's true. And I love to see Nicole recognizing this. Oh, I got to change my size here. <laughs> um, all right. Let's talk about Dave White. He was the voice that was on that last reel. And uh, Dave has also partnered with us for so long doing the voiceovers for the Addy reels. I am super grateful for Dave. His voice is perfect. I love hearing it. And um, I'm going to read his blurb. Dave White has been a Seattle-based voiceover actor for the past 28 years and is honored to have been a voice for the Addy Awards for the past nine years, minus one year due to COVID. Working from his home in studio, home studio in Bothell, Washington, Dave works with his clients in the Northwest, as well as all over the country and around the world. Uh, by the way, the links to all these sponsors, participants, partners, are on our website in slash Addy, in the event listing, and uh where else oh and in the sponsors section under the addy under the awards menu on the website so if you want to work with these people click through our site you should be able to google them and get links from our site or google you know look for the addy sponsors you want to work with with dave and lynn for voiceover thank you dave and lynn for for all of that all right so next up student awards a little pause in the action, you might think, but man, student awards can be fantastic. And they usually are. The 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 awards that I just judged for District 12, the student awards got me more excited than the professional awards. And the professional awards were great. The student awards were fantastic. So let's see what Seattle students, Western Washington, holy cow, um, could be from anywhere in Western Washington, uh, students have to offer. There's going to be some sweet work here, I'm sure. All right, let's get to the students. In the category of elements of advertising, animation, or special effects, Daniel Geisler takes home the gold Addy for interstellar title sequence while at Western Washington University. Charlotte Offen from Western Washington University is awarded the Silver Addy in the category of Elements of Advertising, Animation, or Special Effects for their Rick and Morty title sequence.
A Silver Addy for La Cafe Altura is awarded to Montana Siddle from Western Washington University in the category of Sales and Marketing, Product or Service Sales Promotion Packaging. Not bad. Way to go, students. Well done. All right. Our next sponsor is Decision Council. What does Decision Council do? They are the ones who created these reels. And the little laurels here that I snipped from, from the one of the frames of the opening sequence, uh, they have done an amazing job for us. And there's a lot of bases to cover this. You've got music, you've got integrating voice, you've got timing, editing, you've got original motion graphics. They've done an amazing job. And you know how much I had to work with them to, to get this tuned to where it is? Well, me personally, uh, or we as American Advertising Awards, I'll, I'll name Martin later. Uh, but uh, from our side of it, like two meetings. That's pretty amazing to understand what we're getting at and deliver. And sometimes you know what it's like to like, who's when you're on how often are we on the client side of things but shipping off an idea and trying to like convey what you want and then you know inevitably the stuff that comes back that first round may not have it these guys delivered i loved it uh just actually really blown away at, at, at how good it was and how how they covered everything even delivering videos in in a, in a perfectly right format for me to get it on screen today so thank you so much to decision council they do development they do event production they they're why aren't they in the addies i don't know like we got to work on that right anyway decision council uh let's read that uh blurb uh companies engage decision council to align marketing product and sales initiatives b2b leaders innovators and rebels partner with us to create deploy and evolve their go-to-market products strategies and revenue programs that's it okay decision council good work on the video reels thank you so much this the show doesn't happen obviously it's not going to be on my i'm not who's going to sign up to watch me read a list of winners nobody so thanks uh thanks to decision council i can't thank them enough all right our next reel is going to feature a judge's choice award from kelly bernard and i feel like i should be reading that in advance like i did with nicole but it's slotted to be after the reel i'm just going to read it Kelly Bernard. Oh, by the way, so I didn't have a bio for her. So I went to her LinkedIn and her LinkedIn bio is, so, is something like so weirdly different or just literally two words about being weird, which I like, but it doesn't give us a lot of uh, content here for a show. So I went to one of her recommendations from someone that worked with her. Turned out it was a past client. And I'm going to read the past client's description of Kelly Bernard, who was a freelance creative ACD and designer now. When she judged, she was senior art director at Godfrey Datage Partners. Kelly is brave. She put it out into the universe that she was a young creative talent that had ideas. Her ideas and moxie showed such promise that she was written about an agency spy for being a true go-getter. I spotted that energy and I knew I had to take her to market, in quotes. Kelly was so professional, open, and eager to move to a new city and give BSSP a try. They immediately fell in love with her and knew how truly special she was and snatched her up. The connection relationship has been pure magic. I couldn't be proud of Kelly, and I know she is a creative and important force in the ad industry. I'm excited to see the work Kelly brings to BSSP's amazing client roster and beyond. That's a nice endorsement. So let's get on with the reel and Kelly's judge's choice at the end of it. Copacino Fujikado's Kissing in the Rain for Visit Seattle wins two gold Addies in out-of-home and ambient media, single installation and single event, 
and Silver Addy in cross-platform integrated branded content campaign. With 2022 on track to be one of the hottest summers on record, Seattle embraced its rainy reputation and brought some precipitation to two cities that desperately needed it. Visit Seattle presents the Seattle Rain Booth, a first of its kind, fully sustainable rain booth designed to give a tease of what a visit during Seattle's cozy season feels like. Visitors created their own movie posters set against a picturesque Seattle backdrop and got inspired to book their next adventure to the Emerald City. There is nothing more romantic than rain. It's uh, about 115 degrees today in Phoenix, so very nice to cool off. It definitely gave a Seattle vibe. Yeah, I've never been to Seattle, but I'd love to go. Yeah, I'd love to go to Seattle. We've been actually to Seattle before, we, and uh, yeah, we want to go back. I would love to go back. And in the end, Seattle reminded out-of-towners that when it comes to romance, a little rain can be a pretty great thing. I've never been to Seattle, but I can't wait to go. I've always loved the rain and would definitely love to go up to Seattle. Kit Kat Don't Blink Break, done by Wonderman Thompson Global Creative Data Group for Kit Kat takes the gold Addy in online interactive apps, games, virtual reality, and silver Addy in elements of advertising, innovative use of interactive technology. Hands of Stone brings home the gold Addy for Schweitzer Chair Lift Therapy in film, video, and sound, television advertising, single spot for Schweitzer. I had a really dark day going skiing, which sounds ridiculous. The last few seasons have been... <sighs> I keep coming back to the word disappointing. And you get to the mountain after you've done all the work. And you just see this horde of people. Waiting in line, waiting in line, waiting in line. I'm thinking, oh, great, I didn't get here early enough. These people all think they're going to ski here today? This is supposed to be fun. Like, this is fun. I want skiing to be simple. No drama. No lines. 20 runs a day. Bouncing, like on a cloud. And to have a place where you can just feel like you are in your element because I need that in my life and I think everyone does. Yeah, I just want skiing to be weird again. I just want skiing to be skiing again. That's what I want. We should Schweitzer! AT&T Black Future Makers 2022, done by 24-7 for AT&T, takes the silver Addy in out-of-home and ambient media multiple installations. Seattle is awarded two Silver Addies in the categories of Out of Home and Ambient Media, Multiple Installations, and Cross-Platform Integrated Advertising Campaigns, Consumer Campaign for their Pabst is the Place, created for Pabst Blue Ribbon.
In the category of online film, video, and sound internet commercial campaign, Maxwell Mosier Productions is awarded a silver Addy for the Filson Cruiser, done for Filson. Made in 1897. Built for any era. Timeless materials. Careful construction. Made with purpose. Durability. Utility. A story in every stitch. Passed from one generation to the next. Carrying the legacy. Past isn't dead. History isn't finished. It repeats itself. Transcenders, done by Curator Pictures for Nike Skateboarding in association with the nonprofit organization Skate Like a Girl, takes the judge's choice, Addie. Hello, my name is Kelly Bernard and I'm a freelance associate creative director and designer. I work for agencies across the East and West Coast and I travel full time. My judge's choice is Transcenders for the film, video and sound category. I could go on forever talking about why I like this film, but here are some main takeaways that made this stand out to me within the sea of advertising sameness. The conversation of trans struggles, but also just general experiences are not highlighted enough, especially in a sports category that is heavily dominated by big names. But what I liked about this short film is it didn't highlight a cause or a call to action or even take a strong stance on the topic it merely just created a space for those who are within this community to feel heard and feel a part of something and a part of something cool. Visually, it did a great job of nodding to skate culture with the variety of lens treatments and just overall creative spunk throughout. I think this treatment really helped actually naturally tie two communities together. It brings more awareness to the topic, but in an approachable way by merely just starting a conversation about it. And in this category, you tend to see a lot of the same stuff, same major brand plugs, logos left and right, no sense of real emotion or rawness. And this is my judge's choice, because even though Nike was the name behind this project, it doesn't take over the purpose or meaning behind the spot. Nike's role was really just to bring more awareness to a community that doesn't really have an opportunity to be heard in a lot of cultural conversations. So I'm excited to see how this film encourages more people to be inspired and to come as you are to whatever makes you happy. Skateboarding is an incredible thing to experience as an individual. But ultimately it's best shared with your community. I feel like Alexa was like a legend in my mind. Like there's a new girl skater in town that is gonna like push me to do that I'm always like scared of. I want to pass down what I know to the next generation of queer and trans skateboarders and I'm so excited to see the flavor that it adds to skateboarding down the line. All right that's awesome and who recognizes uh oh hey Hey, uh, who recognizes those locations shot in there? That's that's fun. I like that video too. Um, nice choice for Judge's Choice. All right, um, next up, we got, we're getting down to the end of the show. It's getting super exciting. Who's gonna win that best of show? But um, let me first, this is not the best thing to do here. All right, let me get you some information about a little special gift, a POAP, what is that? It's proof of attendance protocol. Yes, it's a total crypto nerd thing, but basically it's a digital souvenir. It can be a digital souvenir, but it's also a, a token. It's a, it's a, it is an NFT. You don't have to worry about that. Everybody who's registered for this, who uh, everybody who's registered has a ticket for for the show, will be sent a claim code that you can use to get a POAP. It's going to be like a little piece of art, a little digital badge, a memento, a take-home free souvenir um, from the 2023 Seattle Addies.
but it's also something that will serve you in the future for uh, uh, if you've ever heard of like token gating or any of that stuff that that nerds talk about, like me, um, in Web3 world, this is uh, kind of membership pass type of stuff, but for the next um, next next way of doing things. I'm setting you up early. You'll you'll get the instructions in the email. Just click to claim it. It'll be a cute little thing you'll have in your wallet. Maybe you'll it'll be the thing that makes you start having a wallet. And if not, you can still use it in an app in the POAP app, along with all your other ones. Anyway, uh, trust me on this. It's going to be fun. Um, the next reel has a judge's choice from Ryan Coleman. Ryan Coleman uh, is VP GCD at Luquire in Charlotte, North Carolina. Ryan Coleman is a husband, dad, writer, animal level, lover, and Tar Heel through and through. He is also group creative director, VP at Luquire with 20 plus years of advertising experience. Prior to Luquire, Ryan worked at Ray Ward, Boone Oakley, McKinney, and Sachi and Sachi NYC, where his work has been recognized by Khan, One Show, Communication Arts, New York Festivals, National AAF, and others. A nearly native North Carolinian, Ryan enjoys spending time outdoors with his wife and coaching his son's teams to mediocre records. All right, Ryan, uh, he, your choice is going to be at the end of this reel. Let's see what you, let's see what who are the, who the other winners are. Little Hands of Stones, Schweitzer, we should Schweitzer for Schweitzer wins the Gold Addy in cross-platform integrated advertising campaigns, consumer campaign. We should be giant kids. We should Schweitzer. We should have big, stupid fun. We should Schweitzer! <laughs> we should be free as a bird. We should Schweitzer! Shrapnel, Solitarius Lupus, by All Is Well Studios for Neon Machine, takes home two gold addies in the categories of Elements of Advertising, Art Direction Campaign, and Cinematography, and two silver addies in both categories Film, Video, and Sound, Branded Content, and Entertainment Campaign, and Elements of Advertising, VoiceOver. Making a living in the sacrifice zone is a life or death game. To win it, you gotta learn the rules. Rule number five, don't get shot. Rule number four, take what you can and get even later. Rule number three, be careful who you take into the zone. Tourists will get you killed, and the pros will let you die. Rule number two, you don't always have to find shrapnel yourself. Let someone else find it, wait for them to come out, and take it from them. And rule number one, get paid to play the game. VMLYNR brings home the Gold Addy for Wendyverse in online interactive apps, games, virtual reality for Wendy's and Meta. Last year, Wendy's overtook the king. But McDonald's stores still outnumbered us three to one. So we had a choice. I'll build them in the real world or build a new world of our own. Wendyverse, of course, what else could it be? I'm going to the Wendyverse, dude! 
centered around a Wendy's restaurant. I used to work at Wendy's. It looked just like this. We created the first way to get real food in virtual reality. Oh, wait, I can get oh, real look, free notes? Know yeah, in real life. Did you know about the secret spot? Come here, follow me. And for a little fun, we hid some food you wouldn't want to eat. <laughs> There's a McDonald's bag in the freezer. That's funny. Built in the virtual reality game Horizon Worlds, this wasn't just a restaurant. That's Wendy. Oh my god. <laughs> I blew, I blew, I drop it like it's hot. In the Zeppelin, it's a baked potato. With so many experiences to explore, it's a whole Wendy's universe. Hard Time. Done by Wonderman Thompson Seattle for Washington's Lottery and NHL Seattle Kraken. Takes the silver Addy in film, video, and sound, television advertising, single spot. Hijinx Agency takes home a silver Addy for Hijinx, always up to so good. Done for hijinks in the category of advertising industry self-promotion, film, video, and sound. VMLYNR is awarded a Silver Addy in the category Online Interactive Social Media Campaign for Windows Holiday Campaign with Microsoft. <music> Little Hands of Stone takes home the Judge's Choice Addy for Schweitzer Chairlift Therapy. Done for Schweitzer. What's up, Seattle? My name is Ryan Coleman. I'm a creative director at Luquire, an agency in Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, first of all, congratulations to all the winners tonight. There was a, a super high level of work across the board. Uh, great ideas, great executions, um, great craft. So congratulations to all the winners. My personal uh, judge of choice is for the We Should Schweitzer campaign, the chairlift therapy work. Um, honestly, it kind of pissed me off when I saw it first because uh, it was such a super simple idea, but it was so well executed. Um, we've all had to do those man on the street videos and most of them stink, including the ones I've done. Um, but this is one of those ones um, that just works and works really, really well. Uh, the, the work itself um, was just flawless in my opinion. Just love the experiential aspect of it. Um, I love that they kind of hit those core points of what uh, skiers and snowboarders look for as far as they want short lines, they want no drama, uh, kind of a throwback to some of the, uh, the, the resorts before the super resorts took over the world. Um, and honestly, it works. Uh, the advertising works. Um, I, you know, after the judging took place, I actually got online, looked up um, We Should Schweitzer, um, checked out their their resort itself and was like man i want to go there uh so you know um it's always nice when something you know not it's not just funny or creative uh, but actually uh at the end of the day works and so um this is one of those campaigns that just ticked all those boxes for me um so congrats to the team i wish i did it i didn't you did uh you deserve um a big high five and congrats uh from everyone including me so well done, uh, have a good day, we'll see you. I had a really dark day going skiing, which sounds ridiculous. The last few seasons have been... I keep coming back to the word disappointing. And you get to the mountain after you've done all the work. And you just see this horde of people. Waiting in line, waiting in line, waiting in line. I'm thinking, oh great, I didn't get here early enough. These people all think they're gonna ski here today? This is supposed to be fun. Like, this is fun. I want skiing to be simple. No drama. No lines. 20 runs a day. Bouncing, like on a cloud. And to have a place where you can just feel like you are in your element. Cause I need that in my life and I think everyone does. 
Yeah, I just want skiing to be weird again. I just want skiing to be skiing again. That's what I want. We should Schweitzer! All right. Hey, thank you, uh, Ryan, for that choice. Excellent choice. Three judges, three different choices. Great reasons. So uh, we're all, we've are all we got two awards left to give here. But first, let me say a little something about the uh, our, our needs for AF Seattle. We have this tiny board. When I started, uh, actually right when COVID started, I guess this is three years ago, I had a board that was huge, amazingly talented, and uh, it was the best board I'd ever put together and, and been on. And, and we were just decimated from COVID and life things. And I went over this last year, even um, everything that you can think of that happens, you know, death, marriage, divorce, new jobs, babies, twins, moving, uh, getting laid off, all that stuff. We, we, our board is tiny. We need people to help us run this thing and do events and make a real gala next year do more panels, do more social things, do better social media. I used to do a great job at that. Yeah. Okay. Um, really? Yeah, okay. Uh, so what are the openings? We have director positions. If you're an events person, we got that. If you're a finance person, we need a treasurer, a secretary. If you're a project manager, uh, we have a government affairs opening. We have, that's for that legislation stuff I was talking about earlier. We have, uh, actually, we do have an education director. That's awesome. Awesome to have you. Thank you. And uh, we have, but yeah, pretty much everything we have openings for. Committee members, if you don't want to commit to a director role, join a committee, do a special project, be on the Addies, do one one event. Even, even less commitment, volunteer. We do an event, show up, move chairs, pick up the food from the from Costco or wherever the caterer is. It's all a community effort. And, and we've had great support in the past. And I know the city can support us again. We want to be relevant. And part of that is just getting into everybody uh, in, in everybody's business. What am I saying? That's a weird thing. Um, but you know what I mean? We all do this together. We need to have a club together. So go to our website. You want to make a better website? that's part of it too. Uh, so, uh, yes, afseattle.com. You can find it there. I think it's under about under board, under volunteers. There's options there. Thank you for listening and for supporting us. All right. The next award, the mosaic award. I love this award. This actually is the kind of thing. This is a newer thing and it is a great way to recognize our greater purpose as advertisers, as creatives, telling stories that talk about real people and give light to real situations. In and, and it isn't necessarily about selling products. Sometimes it does anyway, because it's brand sponsored, but these are usually really good stories. In the, At the national level, there's a Mosaic Award in the National Addies, but there's an entire separate Mosaic Awards show uh, it used to be at the same conference as the National Addies, um, as Ad America, where the National Addies is, and they moved it to its own date, which at first I thought was too bad because you had a captive audience there. But the truth is the Mosaic Awards deserve their own audience because the work is fantastic. It's always the kind of thing that you, it, it is, it's so entertaining to watch. And so like, it makes you cry. It makes you be proud. It makes you want to do better work. So uh, I'm going to read what the Mosaic Real is, uh, what the Mosaic Award is supposed to be about. This is from a national level, and it's kind of more for the major, like for all the awards that they do at the separate show. But this kind of idea was what inspired the local level singular Mosaic Award. This award doesn't progress through the system like the other ones do that I'll explain at the end. But um, we're working on that because we think it's important that every piece that 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 takes this kind of direction and wins this award is significant enough to matriculate to a national level for competition. So I'll tell you about it. Mosaic Reel uh, is uh, the winners, um, the, sorry, the creative content distinguishes itself by amplifying underrepresented communities with depth and authenticity. A company's diversity and inclusion initiatives are measured by cultural impact and sustainability. 
all winning entries must have a unique vision that gives you viewers a broader understanding of the BIPOC, LGBTQIA+, and disability communities, and that, and that promotes systemic change through equity and inclusion. That can get pretty bar, broad when you bring in disability, and the whole thing is just about messaging humanity better and, and sharing our stories better. So let's get onto that Mosaic Award and see what it is. I don't know what it is. I'm curious. All right, Mosaic Award. The Mosaic Award goes to Copa Sino Fujicado for their work on Primera Blue Cross First Step, done for Primera Blue Cross. One in five Americans deal with mental health conditions every year. No matter who you are, it's okay to ask for help. So don't wait. Premier Blue Cross, always in your corner. All right. Way to go, Copacino. We've seen a lot from Copacino this show. Nice work. We're at that moment now. Best in show is next. I want to take a moment before we get there uh, to say a special thank you to the team that made tonight possible. I am doing the hosting, uh, but these are the guys, the people who did the most work to make this whole thing possible. We are a scrappy small group and we obviously we're not doing the gala, but just getting the awards coordinated and uh, making the, you know, doing the promotions, I guess I did that part, but getting, you know, rallying this whole effort is a big deal. And to have Cindy and Martin do it uh, entirely on their own shoulders was fantastic. Kira, our old uh, Addy director, old previous Addy director, she's not old at all. She's a young mom and that's part of why she's not here, but she's still donating her time to make this event awesome and and keeping every just lending the wisdom and keeping things on track so she peeks in from the cloud and and sends a little sunshine to us but cindy thank you martin mcgee past president thank you uh your work was invaluable to making this this happen so thank you very much uh great team really stepped up in in way beyond expectations i very much appreciate you all right Let's get to best of show. I don't know what it is, so let's find out. This is going to be fun. Here we go. The best in show award goes to Smart Sheets, Smart Sheet, Sponsor X for Smart Sheet. We had a sponsor ask a simple question, what can a logo on a car actually accomplish? Our sponsor Smartsheet believes in empowering work that matters. So they replaced their logos on the McLaren F1 cars with a non-profit. We had the opportunity to engage young people in a way where they feel a sense of confidence to pursue their dreams and reveal their genius as we say. When the kids see the car, they're gonna know that this, it represents them. This is Sponsor X. Okay, hey, make myself big here. Hi, best in show, congratulations. Well, that's the entire show. That's all the awards that we have to give. Or wait, there's actually one more. And I don't know where my slide went for it, but um, we had a, I had a slide. Oh yeah, I'll get out of the way again. People's choice. So basically basing this off of the three judges choices, the mosaic and the best in show, there's other ways to do it, but that's what I can put together. This uh, bit.ly bit.ly slash 2023 lowercase Addie's PC or scan the QR code 
and vote for your choice. We will announce the winner in our virtual after party in Kumo space. So that's another reason to come there. Everybody who votes, if for some of you and you're watching, you didn't register, you tuned into YouTube, got sent a link. When you vote, that email that comes through with your vote, we'll use that to also send you the POAP uh, digital souvenir and token membership thingy token doodad. Um, so vote for people's choice. If you want, I'm going to leave that up a little bit longer. Um, let me tell you, by the way, what happens to best in show uh, gold winners and silver winners if they opt in. We send these uh, we send these awards to district competition. The Addies isn't just local. You move on to district. District 11 is, is what we're in. So you compete against other entries from Alaska, Oregon, Montana, and Idaho. The winners, gold winners from that round of judging move on to National Addy Awards. Last year, we had Wonderman Thompson win one of the best in shows in the whole national uh, competition. It's fantastic. So the work that you do at a very small level here, this bus wrap, the, the hockey ads, the whatever you saw today, this could all be showing in June in St. Louis at America at the National American Advertising Awards presentation. They could take home major hardware. So that's a really fun reason to submit for the Addies. And, uh, and, you know, you could find yourself in, at, at a conference picking up some, some trophies. So I hope everybody's had a chance to get the People's Choice Award, bit.ly slash 2023 Addies PC, all lowercase. We'll announce the winner in the Kumo space. All right, what's next here? So we are done. Our next event, we are going to do a little in-person thing, trophy pickup. And even if you didn't win just show up to get some free food and beer we're going to have this at optimism brewery we're also going to honor the silver medal award recipient usually we do that during the addies we've kind of shifted that uh but this is going to be an extra point of focus and uh will be a really you know that's a that's a great way to honor somebody who's made significant contributions to our advertising community we're also going to announce the winners of that district of our district 11 Addy competition. It's just two weeks from today, April 13th. It's free. Is it free? I don't know. I, the, the link is going to come out tomorrow or very soon. And I'm sure there's, yeah, well, you, whatever you'll see when, when the link comes out, I'm pretty sure it's free optimism brewery two weeks from today. You can all get together and pat each other on the back, have some drinks, catch up, totally informal, uh, will be upstairs and will award that silver medal recipient. So people's choice winner, like I said, Kumo Space. There it is, kumospace.com slash AAF Seattle. You can go there now. I'm gonna take a second uh, to get over there myself as soon as I get out of the show. Uh, I'm gonna gotta turn on some music in there. That's the one thing I forgot, gosh darn it. Uh, it's a lot of fun. So yeah, catch up with each other in Kumo space and or two weeks from now at Optimism Brewery. Congratulations to all the winners. And I really wanna thank everybody for coming and spending their evenings. We got out of here pretty quickly. Sweet, 8.20, uh, it's a great show. Thanks to everybody who entered. If you, we appreciate every last person. I'm starting to go on. I think it's time to just have a drink and, and take it easy in the Kumo space. Kumospace.com slash AAF Seattle. We will see you there. Let's, <laughs> there's me. Thank you. Good night.